Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm gonna to do a get ready with me, and I am trying to get back into loving makeup. It was always a passion, I still like it, but for some reason, I just haven't been as interested in doing makeup as, uh, as I used to be. So we'll just kind of work on that together. The only thing I've done is I put a little bit of the uh, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten on this part of my face, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this part. And we're just gonna talk. I need to get back in to wearing more makeup. I do. Makeup always has brought joy to me, and, and I just haven't been wearing as much as I used to. So I'm gonna use this powder foundation, and I'm using the BK Beauty, um, I think it's a 101 brush, and I bought all my brushes. Lisa has sent me, for Lisa from BK Beauty, she has sent me some brushes, and I'm gonna, gonna give you a heads up that there's gonna be a giveaway in a future video, but all the brushes that I have, I purchased myself, and in fact, there's one I've purchased, I have two of. So anyway, I'm just gonna do this and I have two watches on, and there's a reason for that. Anyway, I'm just going to get some all over my face. And then go to the next step. I bought the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, Hydrating, Hydrating Camo Concealer, some time ago. And I said I'd let y'all know what I thought. I think it's good. But I tell you what, I, I really most of the time do better just with powder around there. But I'm just going to use this E55 brush and I'm just going to take a little bit from here and I'll show you why. If I put too much on, it's just, it, it, to me it's worse than not having any on, just using the powder. But I'm just going to touch it right here and right there because that's where I have most of my darkness. I'm going to just take my finger and press it so it'll kind of warm it up and I'll deal with these areas a little bit later. And I do have something new. I have been spraying my eyebrows with hairspray. Just spray in a little container and use this and, and I wanted something different. And there's something that I've wanted but it's not cruelty free. And I found something that's cruelty free and it is a brow freeze. And I just take my brush and I barely tap into it. And then I go to my eyebrows and just kind of go like this. And my eyebrows will stay in place all day long. I don't know that it's better than the hairspray, but it's just kind of fun to have a product that I use for its intended purpose. And that's all that's going to happen to these eyebrows. And anytime I have something with a jar, I don't know if it, anytime I do, I always shut it tight and turn it upside down. And this is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I but you have to wash this very very quickly they, I think you're supposed to like press them down like this But it works the way I'm doing it. This is an optional step for many people, but for me. It's not whoops I Use that tiny bit of amount amount of the Milani eyeshadow primer my tart I used it all up and so I'm trying that and I'll just put my fingers together and I'm just gonna go right here because that's where I really need my eyeshadow to stay right in the crease of my eyes and this is the item that I didn't buy Lisa J sent this to me last year and it is the true beauty eyeshadows and they I've used them several times and they are beautiful almost as beautiful as she is I'm gonna link her channel below she is a doll and she's has such a kind heart in fact, part of her profits go to the Be Kind campaign. So, you know, I think that's wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and put kind of my all-over color on my lids, and then I'll put on my mascara. It just seems to work better for me that way. And I'm going to use Kind Vibes. Yeah. And I take it all the way up past my brow bone, almost to my eyebrow. I enjoyed reading my comments of when people were talking about Catholic school. That was so much fun. It was really a different world back then. It really was. When I started there in first grade, there were only two rooms. And one of them was from grades one two through four, and the other one was grade five through eight. And when I put on my mascara, I always have a clean wand next to me because you never know if it's going to clump or not that I still count my strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and I don't dip it back in and I just go ahead and comb it and I get the look that I want. Now I'm going to take care of these eyes. I did a little bit on this one, but I'm just using this. This is the Genese Qua palette. I've had it for a long time and I'm just going to get some of the Bye Bye Pores powder and I'm going to put it underneath this area right here for kind of like my concealer. I already did it on the other side. And then I'm going to take the same brush and go into my Lara Geller Balance and Brighten and I have that in light and go over it. And for right now that looks like it does a pretty good job. After I get dressed and go into, after I go into my dressing room and get dressed, I'll check it out and let you know if I had to do any touch-ups. But I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm out of my uh, milk eyeliner. I just use it in the upper waterline. I do have extras, but I've heard Mary Glitzy Fritzy is the one who turned me on to these. They're the only eyeliner with the exception of the It. I haven't tried the new formulation of the It eyeliner because I had several of these. So I'll, when I'm done with them, I'll be checking it out. I'd like to find something that's drugstore that is cruelty free that I can use on my upper waterline, but that's the only place I use it. And, I, and it's just kind of what I do. Now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use the shade Ambition all over my, on, the, on, the, on my eyelid. And I'm real careful because I don't want to get it in my mascara. I don't have any trouble with fallout on these shadows. They're just really nice. They can be built up, but I, the, the, I'm just not doing real dramatic eye looks anymore. I'm just not drawn to them for me. Love them on other people, and I love watching people put on their makeup. That is one of the most relaxing things that I do on YouTube is watch people put on their makeup. And I'm just going to go into Brooklyn, and that's her daughter's one of her daughter's names. And I'm just going to go right here. I don't really like to highlight my brow bone because it does stick out quite a bit. But I'm just going to go on top of that area right there and go back and forth. And because I use Brooklyn, I need to use a little bit of Kate, and that's her other daughter. But I'm just going to put a little bit of Kate right here, right in the middle, right here. And this is the brush that I have two of, and I have never seen a brush like it. It is brush number 208. It is so tiny that it ha when I you can use it to put on cake eyeliner, to put on gel eyeliner, to bring color underneath here, to make it kind of look like I have a wing, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go into Queen, and I'm going to look down, and I'm just going to draw a line right here and then right there. Just kind of, I always have called it kind of a wedge and it kind of gives you an eyeliner look. And now if I would wet this, if I would wet my brush and go into a corner, it would be more vivid, but I just kind of want a little bit. And then I'm going to go into Kind, kind Vibes and put it right underneath my lashes here. And I do have permanent eyeliner. So I don't use very much. Some time ago I told you I would get back to you on the Intense Ink Eyeliner from e.l.f. And it is excellent. The one thing, it, it would be a perfect one for anybody to practice with. I prefer a brush tip. And this is like a form tip. I think it's easier for me on my eyes to kind of use it when it's a brush. This is kind of like a magic marker tip. But I'll show you how easy it is to do. I just run it down just in little strokes and you can get the finest line that you want or you can get a thicker line you know I try to put on my makeup different in, in a different order I always try to get my mascara on and I usually have my lip color on but for the last nine and a half years of my career as an RN I worked for a fabulous psychiatrist he, he was wonderful and he would suggest to his patients that were, you know, my age and I, up to start doing things a little differently. If you normally brush your teeth with your, with your right hand, change it up, do it to your left. Well, and he also, this is all to, all to for brain health. You know, of course, always challenge yourself, always try to learn new things. And I'll tell you what, as long as I do YouTube, 
I mean, even like thumbnails, even like uh, uploading to YouTube, editing programs, it changes all the time. I mean, just when I think I've got it, <laughs> I have to relearn it. I'm just putting some bye-bye, bye-bye pores powder on my face. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my lips, and I am going to use a lip liner. And today it's by NYX, and it's so hard for me to remember to do this. But I don't, I don't overline my lips at all. I just go with a lip line. And today I'm going to wear Wish List from It Cosmetics in their pillow lips. I just really like it, and it stays on. And then just to give it a little bit more oomph, I'm going to add some Milani um, Keep It Full. And it's a really good lip gloss. And I'm just going to touch right here. And dab it in. Well, two things happened when I went into my dressing room. I didn't have to touch up my makeup at all, but I realized I had not put on any blush. And a lot of times I don't, but today I wanted to. I do have some errands to run. And the other thing, I film with my iPhone 7 and it was full. So I got my iPhone 8 and now I'm filming with it. So there'll be probably a difference in the beginning and a difference now. So we'll just see what it looks like. That's all I can do. I'm gonna go back, to, I'm gonna go back to this palette right here, and it's the Je Ne Quoi. It has the highlighter, the powder, the bronzer, and the blush. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the blush. And I really just want some diffused color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the 105 and I'm gonna bounce it in the blush. I do a lot of bouncing. And then put it on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna use my my camera for this and then I'll check it out because I forgot to bring in my mirror. So I'll go back and get that. I didn't do too bad. <laughs> I didn't. I think I'll be really daring and just put a little tiny bit of highlighter. And it's also in that Je Ne Quoi palette. I don't know if they make that anymore. If they do, I'll link it below. But it, it, a lot of times it's on sale, so that's a good thing. So I'm just going to get a little bit of highlighter and just go right on my cheekbones. Now for the seven winners of my last giveaway. Well, there's really eight. I had seven winners that I announced and one secret winner. And these winners will all either receive a $50 e-gift card uh, to any place that I can buy e-gift cards, a deposit to PayPal or a deposit to Venmo, or I will buy and send a Derma Roller, a Matrixel 3000, and a bottle of cacao oil. So I'm going to go ahead and announce them. Because I made a mistake, there's now going to be nine winners from this giveaway. I put this toward the end of my video. And what this does what is the people that end up watching my video, they will use the word perhaps or whatever word I put in there. And then I put it in random comment picker. And the number of people that use the word perhaps, that's in a special drawing. Well, the winner of that is, I have two winners. The first winner, the first person that came up was, I believe in angels. Yes, I do. And her name is Jackie. And Jackie is my sixth thousandth subscriber. She used to watch and she never subscribed and she said when she saw me at 5,999 she decided to subscribe. So congratulations Jackie. Uh, you've won either a $50 e-gift card, uh, Venmo, PayPal, or if you wanted the Derma Roller set that I'm going to talk about in a little bit, that's fine too. And the second winner is C. Ocasio. And here is what, she, she didn't come up in random comment picker, but she was the only one that mentioned she could not see a word. So I'm, you're going to win too, C. Um, the same goes for you on where you choose. So congratulations to Jackie and to C. And now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway, the seven winners. And these winners will get either a $50 e-gift card, a deposit to their PayPal, or to their Venmo, or I will buy you a Derma Roller, Matrixel 3000, and Kakai Oil and have it sent to you. The first name that came up was Anna White. Congratulations, Anna. The second name that came up was Texas 
lioness. Congratulations, Miss Texas. <laughs> the next name is Devon Hati. Congratulations, Devon or Devon. Congratulations to you. Next winner is Linda LaFleur. Congratulations, Linda. The fifth name that popped up was Cat Mama 54. Congratulations, Kathy. The next winner is Lisa G. Congratulations to you, Lisa. And the last winner is Patsy O. Congratulations to you, Patsy. Just everybody that its name was called, leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. And I just want to thank you all for watching and for, you know, entering my giveaway. It is all good. You take care and I will see you in my next video. Doing a study and I have been for a little while and I'll... I just use it in the upper eye, eyeliners. So I'm gonna go, I'll let you, I'll put a little. So now I'm done with my look.